uh, I'm back with this portrait. Going to do another black and white conversion on this, uh, as well as use actions. But this time, uh, expand what we can do with actions a bit more. Uh, if you saw the previous tutorial, uh, I should have told you it can actually find, if you can't see it anywhere, your actions button in your window drop down menu. Let's go across here. Uh, I've got various files set up. You can set yourself your own file up, uh, call it what you want. You can call it set one. Uh, click it OK or just cancel it. You see it's there. Uh, I've clicked OK. I just want to bin that. Um, so you can set yourself some, some, some files in there, uh, folders, sorry, and then put a file in it. And I'm uh, going to call this one quick mono. And I've put it in my training fo uh, folder. I'm going to give it a function key, F3 because then you can use it really quickly and uh, let's give it a really nice colour, let's call, <laughs> give it green. So we start recording, you see the red buttons come on there already. I'm going to pull that down a black and white adjustment layer. I'm going to change it to maximum wide, it's still recording as we go along. Select the background, I want to do a stamp copy of those two, uh, the adjustment layer and the background copy, uh, background layer, make a copy of that. Change the blend mode to soft light, go up here and put some blur in it, this time I'll do some surface blur. That's uh, that's looking okay. Might just increase it slightly. Take it over there. Um, yeah, just hold it just around about there. Click OK. That's again fine. It's recording as we go along. You see there. Um, so everything we're doing is being recorded by the actions, and uh, I'm just going to flatten that. Uh, Shift Control E, and we're done. And that's uh, recorded everything I've done there, uh, so I can play it back over and over again. You can see there we've got all our um, uh, actions that we did. And let's go back into our history palette. I want to clear off that history that's in there. Uh, let's just bin that last bit there. So just uh, get rid of that. So we're back to where we were at the beginning. Um, I'm going to select the quick model which we've just recorded. It's also there. The easy thing to do is to press play which is not those but that one. The go go arrow. And you can see there as quickly as that it's done uh, a pretty simple, straightforward black and white conversion using the black and white adjustment uh, layer on your file. Um, and it was quick, but one of the things it was, it wasn't flexible. Um, maybe you want a bit of flexibility here in your action to uh, slow things down a bit and do some tweaking as it goes along. Um, we can add that, uh, but we're going to have to do something. We're going to have to go to the flyout menu, and there you saw it's insert stop and uh, you can be amazed by my fast typing skills what uh, type of mono so question mark because it's a question that's a stop it's got a little dialog box now by the side of it uh, that's that little box there which is toggle dialog box on and off we'll leave them on for the moment so that's a stop point there they'll actually stop the action and we'll have to turn the action back on again after reading the action i'm going to go to insert stop again just above surface blur and ask myself a question again, how much blur? With a question mark. There you go. And click OK again. So that's just above the surface blur. You can see a little dialog box by the side of it again. And uh, just before it gets a merge visible, uh, again go to Insert Stop from that flyout menu there and the Actions palette. And uh, ask yourself a question. Have you finished? Uh, affirmative or negative? And we're done again. So. I've recorded an action, but you can go back into it, and I can add stops to it. And you can see those little boxes there. Those are showing that they're actually dialog boxes attached to our stops. Uh, you can toggle them on, toggle them off as well if you want to. Uh, let's go back in here again and clear the history off. Select the quick mono again, and press play. And you can see straight away it's asking you what type of mono. You can go into your black and white conversion now, and we can change it to maximum black. Press the play button again. How much blur do we want? So before we get to the blur, let's go into the filter. This time I'm going to go to blur, I'm going to go to Gaussian blur, and uh, just have a little fill around in there. Press the play again. So we move on from that. Have you finished? Well, not quite. Let's have a look around. So I'm just going to click the stop button. And let's have a look around in what we've done so far. Uh, we've created this. Uh, quick action by recording uh, our actions while we've gone through processing this file into a black and white. We can turn off these dialog boxes by the side which we just added so we can record an action but then we've gone back into it and we recorded some stops in it. Uh, we can toggle off, we can take these out, 
so they're not there. We can also switch off the dialog boxes if we want to. So there's a lot of flexibility in your action. Just remember what you've switched on and switched off, just in case. So there's a flexibility in there. We've got our stop, play and record buttons uh, down the bottom there. And as we're coming to an end, let's just press play again to finish it off. It flattens it down, background, and we can save it out to where we want. So that's been looking at uh, actions again and another way of converting into black and white. From me, bye for now.